Hello, may I speak to you in the name of God? Well, the mystery begins. Here we are at Holy Week, and we begin, of course, with the celebration and pageantry of a joyful uh, entrance into Jerusalem with his disciples and many people waving palms and strewing their garments in the street in front of him and proclaiming that he indeed is the Messiah. And we will um, walk this walk uh, the same way we have um, every year more recently at St. Mark's, which is one day at a time exactly the way that Jesus did. Because uh, there is something to be learned from this walk of Holy Week. And so I'm going to ask you to pay attention because for me, what I've discovered through the very many different Holy Weeks that I have gone through, and of course, this will be a dip more different Holy Week than any of us have ever experienced, is that the, the loss and emotions that uh, we experience in um, reading and understanding Jesus' journey resonate with us in ways that make us recall the particular losses that we've experienced in our lives. I was always told that I was not supposed to express my pain, but it has been said, and I don't know by who, but I think it's true, that if we do not uh, transform our pain, we transmit it. And I have said to you many times that the the mission of the church is to gather people together, to transform them, and to send them out in renewed lives to um, share that transformation with the world. And when I've shared that with you, the question has always been, well, what is that transformation? And I would tell you that uh, I think that if we take time to share our pain with each other and to um, hold those who are experiencing pain in ways that make sure that they know that we care for them as the true people they are, that we will discover what transformation is all about. This year, we will be tested in ways that we have never been tested before because even though we have already lost uh, thousands of people to the coronavirus, uh, we are not finished and it's going to be difficult. And um, I'm hoping and praying that we individually will not uh, be touched beyond the loss of someone that we know uh, somewhere in this country. But it also calls upon us then to understand that beyond the business of holding people who are suffering loss, we must decide how we live our lives on the other end of that loss. And we must decide how we share God's abundance with those people around us in ways that is life-giving and that holds their dignity as one of the more important things that we do. And so join us as we travel this week. Uh, we will have a uh, Monday Thursday service. Uh, it will not be um, the same because obviously we will not be in the presence of each other. Um, we will have a Good Friday service at noon on Good Friday and we will do Holy Saturday at 10 o'clock on Saturday morning uh, with a live stream is the intention at this point in time. And then once again on uh, Easter Sunday morning, there will be another video uh, celebration of, of Easter Sunday. And we hope that it will be a joyous day. So walk this week. Um, think about what it means to be uh, human in this world and to care for those around you as they experience loss and pain and suffering. 
and know that our purpose is to bring new life and to share God's love with those in a world that is profoundly broken. Amen.